Hi everyone, Inat Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today we are going to start with some free printable papers. So I have this paper collection that I have designed and you can get it for free. These are 6 by 6 papers, double-sided papers with vintage nature elements that I've designed for you. I really hope you will like them. You can get all these pages uh, in the link in the description under the video basically you go ahead and you click the link and then you can access the download of the pages and you can download them as many times as you want you will print all these papers these are the primary papers you can see all the elements the flowers the birds the vintage elements here they're all multi-layered with really pretty colors that you can use for any card, mini album, scrapbook page, party invites, any paper craft or other project that you want to make. So you, you load them to your printer, you print them on one side and then you load the paper and print the other side and the papers are designed to match. That is that you will have a print to cut and then you'll have the page printed on both sides as you can see the other side is more of, of a background uh, patterns less detail on them so you can combine both designs I really like how this turned out and like I said, you can download it as many times as you want. So you'll have as many papers as you need for any project that you want to make. So this is one side of the papers. And this is one side and this, this is the other side. And I'm just going to show you a little mini album that you can make with these pages, including some interactive elements to add and how to use all the papers to cover the mini album so go ahead grab the link and get your free printable papers like always you have a link to the measurements in the description under the video and this mini album is really easy to make just by folding a few papers so we're going to start with our large pieces and we're going to score them at six and three eighths and six and five eighths. And we're going to do that with all four pieces. So we're basically creating a little spine. Again, we're going to score them at six and three eighths and six and five eighths. And that will give us a little spine. This is the spine. And don't worry it's uneven on purpose now we're going to start binding or connecting so you see that there are two small flaps that we're going to glue together to make one side of the mini album so just apply glue to the bottom of the small flap and then attach the other small flap to it and then make sure that they're straight like this and that they're aligned with the spines so this is one side of the mini album opened like this and now we're going to repeat the exact same thing on the other side to make the other side of the mini album it has two sides so I'm applying the glue to the small flap both of them and then I'm going to attach them together. So this is part number one for this mini album. Okay, so now we have both sides of the mini album and we need to make the binding and attach them both together. So this is one side and this is the other side. Next, we're going to take two pieces. They are marked pieces B in the instructions and the cutting guide you're going to see and we're going to attach the two sides of the mini album to those two pieces so apply glue to the bottom of the center of the piece that we 
made, the mini album, the one side, and then attach it to piece B. We're going to score piece B at 6 and 3 eighths, and then attach the one side of the mini album to its left side, like this. And then we're going to repeat that with the other side and the other piece B. That we're, again, we're going to score at 6 and 3 eighths. Apply glue to the bottom of the other mini album side. This is the bottom, the center. And then we're going to attach it again to piece B, aligning it with all the edges to the larger flap like this. So now we have the two sides of the mini album attached to two pieces B. So this is what we now have. So you see that when we attach both of, we put both of the mini album sides together, we have some thickness. It's about an inch. So what I want to make is another spine to compensate for that thickness of the mini album pages. So I'm going to measure about an inch from the center of piece B. And you measure because sometimes you use different thickness of cardstock, so it might change. It might be a little bit less than one inch or maybe a little bit more. So it's better to just measure to be accurate. And then we're going to cut the page, cut the paper, and have a really small flap. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Measure the thickness of the combined sides of the mini album, and then cut. So basically this is binding without chipboard. So it's really easy to make, no wrapping involved. Now we're going to attach these two little flaps together to bind the two sides of the mini album. So basically what we're doing is attaching them one on top of the other. Like this. And then you see that the larger spine is exactly accurate and now the mini album is basically ready and we can go ahead and start covering it with cover papers that again you have all the measurements in the cutting guide in the description under the video it's free you can go ahead and grab that so now to add a little bit of interest to the pages I have here a flap so this is piece D that we're going to fold in half and attach to one of the pages of the mini album as an opening flap like this. And you can follow and make all the interactive pieces, but you don't really have to if you don't want to. This is piece E that we're going to fold in half as well and attach to one of the pages. So we're going to have a large flap, a small flap, and then some of the pages are just going to be covered without any flaps at all. Now I'm going to add another little flap. I'm going to attach it to the cover paper so it will be hidden and then I'm going to cover the paper and then cover the flap. So basically at this point it's optional if you want to add all those little flaps to the mini album or you just want to cover the papers and add photos. So it's a really easy mini album to make because it has no specific binding, no mechanism to add pages to the binding and it's really easy to add. So this is another piece that we're going to 
fold in half. This is piece F. And we're going to create a vertical flap. And flaps are just a way to add interest to the mini album and add more space for photos. So basically it's up to you if you want to add them or not. So this is the finished mini album. Like I said, we have two sides. This is the front cover. And then when you open it to the left, then you have the right side and the left side. So this is the left side with the large flap that we added and the small flap here. And then on the right side, we have that hidden flap, a little frame there and if you want to add a pocket and the vertical flap. I really hope you like this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you next time.